it's like you you don't care about the development of that player or they're not mutually exclusive either right right great point yeah i think nick was just upset that the recruits could afford their own chargers and he had to <laughs> switch up the whole recruiting strategy I mean, I mean, he gave them a charger, and they still was motivated, right? Like yeah. he was, they was getting money. We know Bama players was getting checks, bro. They was getting taken care of. Their families were being taken care of, and they still was winning. You give me a charger, I'm not gonna. Oh, let's ride off to the sunset. No, I want a Ferrari. Like mm -hmm. these guys aren't getting checks to make them like they're from poverty. Most of them, these yeah. little checks aren't making them satisfied, bro. Like that's just a taste of what it could be in the NFL. That should re motivate you to like get in the gym, work harder, and go get bigger checks. And I mean, let's be honest too. Like a lot of players aren't making a ton of money, That's, right? You know, I think 1%. everybody thinks that everybody's making millions of dollars. It's not the case. Most players are nowhere even close to the six figures, right? Right. Let alone seven figures, right? So um, I think it's egregious. I also don't think that this is a new problem. It's just above board now, right? You just hear about it more because uh, you can negotiate instead of doing it. You know, behind the scenes, you can do it you know, in front, um, players are talking about it. They're showing off what they have, which is the same thing. A lot of other people do, right? You have a friend that gets a new car. That friend is going to post that car on their Instagram or on their Facebook. They get a new watch. They're going to post it on Facebook or Instagram. It's just new, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Or there's other reasons why you're upset, which that's a you problem. Control, right? control, 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 yeah. bro. Yep. And it's going to keep changing. Like, I think I joked about it earlier, uh, uh, them being employees, because I think we have to get to some sort of revenue sharing. And I think you have to be an employee for that. I think that's where we're going. But that then, if they become, I guess, employees, or they're, I guess, you're trying to figure out a way where the schools, the athletic associations can pay the athlete. Because right now, Next year, Florida and every SEC school is getting a big fat check from ESPN. The schools can't do anything to like give players that money. Um, so I think we're still moving. It's still going to change. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know when it's going to get fixed, or, or we'll look at it and be like, "Oh yeah, that that works. That works well now." Yeah. Um, but I think that's the way we're moving. Um, it was unfortunate that the NCAA just fought it fought it fought it and then mm -hmm. congress was like hey let's look at your uh antitrust status and they were like you know what let's do nil that sounds awesome never mind guys <laughs> so there was just no there was no like uniform rules set in place because the ncaa just fought it until congress was like we're not listening to you anymore and we're gonna start looking into you and they were like forget we were ever here yeah. you guys transfer nil all of it um so just hasn't been great guidance from uh the ncaa it's lazy hold hold the ncaa and the, and the universities accountable for what yeah. nil is and that in the status mm -hmm. of everything not the players i think that's lazy and everybody's continuing that take even some of the fans bro no the, the institutions need to get some organization and to align some things ncaa is proven to be you know powerless at this point like this it's not a whole lot they can do. Tennessee just flexed on, on them and all of that's getting, you know, brushed to the side. So it's like get the institutions and in, in, in the NCAA, the colleges, get all that in order. Not the players getting a check, bro. Like that's right. you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. It's out. Like it's a wrap. Right. Well, the NCAA is just a uh, organization that exists on behalf of the members that are the there, which Scots, is the man. colleges and universities. Uh, that have been profiting off of them for hundreds of years. It doesn't mean, oh, but but uh, nonprofit status actually. So <laughs> it, it doesn't mean that, organization. right? It doesn't mean that there's not been opportunities to obviously go to school uh, for free and get opportunities and you know be a launch pad to you know whatever professional organization that might be. Like to the side of all of that the universities and the amount of money that they make now on behalf of college athletics, especially football and basketball is so far and away different than what it was even 